Hey everybody, welcome back to another Affinity Designer tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you symmetry tricks. Uh, symmetry is not something that there's a tool available for. Uh, it's not really like supported quote unquote by Affinity Designer, but there's a trick you can do using symbols that will let you set up uh, symmetry. So let me show you quick before we get into it, just what, what I mean and what symmetry is. Uh, symmetry, we basically divided this character up into two pieces and whatever we do to one side is going to happen to the other. Um, you know, whether it's switching stuff around or even moving stuff. Um, it's all like setting up stuff when you're doing vector or even drawing. I'll show you later that you can do this in uh, pixel persona as well. But um, there's a little trick to if you're what you're making is going to be a, a symmetrical picture, how to uh, set this up. So uh, before we get into that, um, you know, here we got a simple one. Uh, Darth Maul is a little more complex, and you'll notice that uh, Mega Man here has actually been shaded in using uh, the pixel persona and actually kind of drawn in. Um, there will be a tutorial for that coming up next. Uh, this one's recorded. It's just got to get uploaded. So uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're into Affinity because I have a lot of Affinity tutorials coming up, and this is one of them that you don't want to miss. So um, here, uh, you know, I only ended up doing these three here, but for reference, I grabbed a lot of them. And uh, I think I'm going to show you guys, let's use Wolverine here to kind of just get right into this. And uh, uh where is he? And I'm just going to show you how to do this quick. Wolverine's pretty easy. Let me duplicate him and put him up top. And then we're going to get rid of this layer here. But before we do, um, as usual, this uh, file, if you go to my website, which let me do a plug for that real quick. Uh, my website is vectorart.club, not .com, .club. If you go to vectorart.club, um, I'm going to have the actual project file available. So you'll be able to download this project file and actually go through it and, uh, you know, actually play with it yourself and see uh, kind of how I'm doing it. Because I'm going to kind of get through this tutorial quick and then leave it up to you guys uh, if you have any like deeper questions, uh, you can obviously leave them in the comments or you can just kind of check this, uh, download this file and uh, play with it for yourself. So uh, all these reference photos will be in there. If you want to uh, just start using these, go right ahead. So, okay, let's go ahead and start with Wolverine. Let's kind of put him over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a new layer here, a new uh, uh, vector layer. And I'm actually going to go ahead and draw out a box. And I still have the Darth Maul color set up. So let's go ahead and kind of make that a skin tone here. And we're going to just get rid of that stroke. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take the whole layer and drop it down to 50%. If you have the move tool selected, uh, you just hit the number five to do that. And I'm just going to kind of play with it and get it, you know, kind of as close as I can. Um, what you can do here is there's a couple options you can do. You can kind of go through with the corner tool and kind of get it rounded right. Um, once you get something close, what we're going to want to do 
is hit this convert to curves button up here. And what that's going to be able to do is uh, allow us to go in and edit the nodes. If you'll notice here, when you're on the uh, node tool, you can't actually do that. You just got to hit this convert to curves tool and then you're going to be all set. So now we can kind of go in and uh, just kind of line it up perfect here. Now, the thing with this is because we're doing symmetry here, um, you know, both sides don't have to match because I'm going to show you how to do this now. Now that we have this, we really only want half of this, and then we're going to turn half of it into a symbol and then duplicate it and flip it uh, horizontally like as you can kind of see with some of these other heads that are in here and even full bodies. Um, so what you want to do is uh, you want to be on the uh, this tool here, the arrow, and we want to drag this out. I'm going to actually click up here and snap the grids. And then I want to snap that right to the middle. Now I want to go to the node tool I'm going to get right in here, click that, click that. Now that I've, I've made two nodes directly in the center, I want to hold shift and uh, click some of these here and just delete them. And it's that simple. We now have, uh, okay, so let's, uh, let's take that and once you have your item selected, we're going to hit the create button and that's going to give us a new uh, uh, symbol down here. So the symbol, we're going to go back, I'm going to drop this down again. Uh, we're going to drag a new instance of this symbol out. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to transform and I'm going to go to flip horizontal. And what I'm going to do is just kind of snap it back in there and line it up. Uh, once you got it kind of lined up right, go ahead and get rid of that. We're going to turn this to 100. And now because it's a symbol, whatever I'm doing to one side happens to the other side. So now let's zoom in really close and... Uh, Kind of make sure we got that line as close as we can get. Even if it goes over a tab, that's fine. And uh, let's just make sure it's lined up on the bottom here. And yeah, that looks about right. Okay, so now that we got the face, uh, the base of the face made, again, let's kind of drop that down to five so we can see what we're doing, or 50%. Um, let's go ahead and do one of his things here. So uh, we're going to be working on the left side. So I'm going to double click this and call this main. And then this side will be the dupe for duplicate. And we're mainly going to be working in one side. I guess whatever you do to the one side, it's going to do it to the other. So it doesn't really matter what side you work on, but it's just a little easier to pick a side and uh, stick with it. So what we want to do is anything that's in this group is going to be part of the symbol. And as we add different layers, you'll even see the symbol update down here. So what we want to do is we want to make a new layer. Uh, if it makes the layer up higher, you know, just go ahead and grab it and bring it back down into here. Um, we're going to use the pen tool. And what I want to do, there's a couple different, uh, like, modes here. Uh, let's go to the smart mode because that's just the easiest. I've kind of went over this in a previous video, but um, I mean, use whatever you like, but uh, let me go here. The pressure, I'm just going to reset that. That was for Darth Maul. Um, and we're going to make this a lot thinner. Okay. So let's zoom in. Basically, the smart pen tool, if you kind of trace out, uh, let me undo that. Uh, for tracing out, I want, I want to turn the uh, 
turn that off, the magnet tool. We don't want it snapping. But basically, you're, you're going to be clicking around this, and uh, it's, it's a lot easier than the Bezier tool and actually going in and getting these nodes for what we're doing here. Okay. So actually this, I want to get rid of the stroke. I don't want a stroke on this. I just want to fill a black. And as you can see, we're a little off. That's because we're tracing a actual picture and this picture might not be 100% symmetrical. So we're going to have to kind of go in there and fix that manually. Let's turn this image off and let's turn this up to 100 and let's just kind of back this off a little to what looks good for us and we're going to kind of go in here and smooth a little of this out okay so now we're going to go ahead and make another layer which is going to be for the eyes and see that time it, it popped up sometimes it when you make a new layer, it puts it in weird spots, and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, let's drop this down to 50, put this back up, and let's go to the circle tool, or the ellipse tool, I should say, and we're going to fill this with white. Oops. Okay, and as you can see, it's not duplicating over there because we're not in... I, I thought it put it in the right spot, but it didn't. Um, so now watch when we drop it into the proper spot. There we go. So now it's a, uh, you know, whatever we do, it, it's going to repeat it on the other side. And it's really cool to work in symmetry like this. Uh, so let's, for the most part, I think we're going to be done with that. Let's get this back up to 100. Uh, let me get this out of the way. So you will see a line sometimes, no matter how good you get it. Uh, sometimes when you zoom in good, it's gone. And then when you zoom out, it's there. Uh, it's just something that you're going to have to kind of deal with. And in the end, uh, either go into pixels and just paint it out or something like that. But uh, usually when you, when you bounce it out to a JPEG, uh, and it's at actual pixels and you're viewing it at actual pixels and everything's good, you're going to be good. But sometimes the screen will show that line there. So uh, let's kind of get the mask. Let me show you another thing. So let's duplicate this. Command J. And I'm going to go into the node tool and let's put a node here and a node here and let's select these and delete them and let's change this color to yellow okay and now we can kind of mess around with the nose here kind of get that right and there you go uh, simple Wolverine symmetry okay so i just wanted to show you guys one more thing that this will also work in uh pixel persona if you want to just actually go out and uh, hand draw some stuff uh, make a new pixel layer go into the pixel persona uh, get a brush let's get the color right let's click this and uh you know let's kind of do like kind of half of a face here just something it doesn't matter what just something to uh uh you know kind of line up so you know where it is and then uh you can realign it so okay we're gonna go back to the draw persona and we're gonna hit create once that little section selected we're gonna hit create uh that made a new symbol so we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna drag the symbol out um, transform, flip it horizontal, and we're going to kind of get to the edge 
you know, somewhere where it looks about right. And now we can go back into the draw persona and click on that and go to a brush. And we can keep drawing, as you can see, the little uh, things moving. But, you know, now we can go in and, uh, you know, we can draw. So, I don't know, we can do some kind of goat head here. But I don't want to take too much more time up. This is pretty much uh, where we're at with with it it's not totally supported but you can kind of there's tricks to get it to work in affinity and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, i hope you guys give it a try and i'll see you guys next time for the uh the mega man thing make sure you subscribe if you like what i'm doing and i'll catch you guys next time